What is the motto of this video, guys? Karina likes her things oversized. Thick, big, juicy. <laughs> Sorry, Avi, you're gonna have to see me in my undies. <laughs> What is up my internet BFFs? Welcome back to my channel. This is Karina and today I'm excited to be doing spring outfits and what I would wear out in 2021 along with all the hottest spring trends and how to style them. So I hope you guys are excited because I am so excited, so done with winter. Thank you Nasty Gal for sponsoring this video. They have some awesome spring collection. You know what? I like might have gotten ahead of myself and just went straight to summer for some of these outfits. Ooh, and I'm also 14 weeks pregnant, so a little bit over three months pregnant as of today when I'm filming. So I'm going to be measuring my body measurements as usual and putting them down in the description box. So you guys can take a look and make sure to reference the sizing that I'm wearing in each item. Oh, you know, you guys don't pick the wrong size. And of course, I'm excited to show you my little baby bump. Right now, there's not much going on. There's just a lot of bloat, but I I think you guys will still see something. Maybe not baby, but something. So let's get started. So the first outfit that I put together is a super comfortable, super chill loungewear top and a yoga pants combo because that is the reality of how I'm rolling these days. If you think that the sweater is like slightly oversized on me, that's because I went for a size large. I'm usually a size US 2 to a US 4, maybe US 6 during pregnancy, but I just went for it large because I just really really wanted that oversized fit and you guys know how much i love my sweatshirts oversized and you can like style it with like a white pleated tennis skirt or with a matching lounge pants or with yoga pants like i'm doing here i just think this is such a go-to look comfy it's casual yet it's stylish at the same time one tip if you want to slightly dress up your loungewear is to pair it with some chain accessories so i'm going for a gold one right here Ta -da! What do you guys think? Oh my god, I instantly think I belong in some kind of like rap MTV. <laughs> this is my imagination playing me. So this sweatshirt on the side here, it says Athletics Club. Never in my life have I ever fit into such a club. Maybe the closest I've ever gotten is right before I sleep, my brain starts to go all athletic on me and just like thinking about like all kinds of weird scenarios, but that's about all the mental gymnastics I do. The inside of the sweatshirt has this really fuzzy micro fleece material. So it makes the sweatshirt actually warm and not just for looks. If you think this is not enough, you can also layer something under like a vest or even like another sweater under. Oh, and you can see my baby bump here. I'm sorry if you see all the lint collecting on my yoga pants. That is how long I've been wearing those yoga pants around the house, you guys. Because this second outfit, I am like in love because this, it's just so feminine. It's so girly. It screams my name. And I'm kind of sad because I actually don't know how much longer I can keep wearing gator skirts like this. So... <laughs> So I'm definitely seizing the opportunity when I can right now. So this top, it's just a black turtleneck sweater. Actually, it's not much of a sweater. It's a pretty thin fabric. So I would say it's in between like a shirt and a sweater. It's perfect for spring because you can actually wear it on its own like this or you can wear it as like an under layer piece for all of your layering in case it gets really cold and windy in your area. I just need to point out that this is supposed to be fitted but on me it feels a little bit tight. Um, I got a size US 4 which is a UK 8 which is my normal size but I think I should have sized up to a US 6 because maybe it's just like my body has experienced Expanded due to the pregnancy somehow. So yeah, check the measurements below once again If you have my same measurements, please get a size US 6 instead of a 4. Other than that, no complaints about this top It's not see-through which is amazing considering how thin it is. And then for <laughs> I love the skirt. I love the skirt so much that oh, I wish I can wear it more than a couple of times before my belly pops. You best believe that I'm gonna be <laughs> striding around in this skirt. This skirt is so cute. I got this in the size US 4, which is a UK 8. And I just love everything about it. There's no elastic. There's only one zipper closure on the side here. So you guys need to be careful about the size that you pick. Like I thrive off of skirts like this and it's been such a long time since I found one that is an actually good quality one. So highly highly suggest this one. Oh, and it's not see-through by the way. It's not lined on the inside, but the material is thick enough so that, you know, 
curves won't be like seen through it and the length is such a classy length it's not one of those like that just like barely covers the back of your bum <laughs> did i say i highly suggest this one again <laughs> look at my favorite it's korea's favorite okay and then let's talk about these boots i know that knee-high boots have been such a hit last fall and guess what in the springtime they're coming back as a huge huge trend so these knee-high boots are something that I've been wanting to get from Nasty Gal for a super long time. They're always sold out, okay? If they're sold out again at Nasty Gal, please replenish them ASAP because I believe so many people are eyeing these. These are the perfect beige color. It's not too taupe because taupe just reminds me of fall. And it's not too white either. So it's like the perfect in-between color. And they do have a slight like western cut at the top here. So it kind of reminds me of a cowboy boot but like a really understated and stylish cowboy boot. I don't know what the interior is but it is so <laughs> warm. The padding itself is like kind of like thick fluffy padding there's a zipper on the side here and it has a pointy toe if you saw my video on how to make your legs appear longer then you'll know that pointy toe footwear are much much better than rounded toe footwear and i think this has like a 3.5 or 4 inch heel i tried it on for just about half an hour just walking around the house and it didn't really hurt my feet as much as i thought it would i think it's because of the really chunky heel going on i definitely recommend this for every one of you who are looking for a good knee-high boots this springtime because I just think it goes with a lot of dresses it goes with so many outfits you're gonna see me style this with another outfit later on so I got the size US 8 and the shaft <laughs> and the circumference of the top area here actually fits what's that area called underneath your knee oh the calf <laughs> so the circumference of the top of this boot actually fits my calves pretty well so it's not like sliding about or like getting wrinkled as I'm walking around it has a good structure on its own too see I'm holding it like this and it's not falling down <laughs> this bag is also from Nasty Gal I picked it because the wicker design just downright reminds me of a picnic basket and spring and summer is all about going picnicking I think I might have a picnic in my backyard my backyard is like an eyesore right now but I might clean it up and then have a picnic with buddy because he's just been indoors so have all of us for the longest time so when you open this it's actually quite roomy this is a really sturdy structure I believe you can put like your phone in here your wallet your keys and it's just super cute to take with you and the color palette is easy to match with a lot of your summery spring outfits too. The strap is adjustable which means you can wear it on the shoulder or you can wear it diagonal or you can wear it like double strap just like as a shoulder bag. I got this because it reminds me of picnic. Hands up if you remember this exact blazer dress. I first got this blazer dress last last spring or last summer I think and I was so so in love with it that I had to re-show you guys the same blazer dress for spring 2021 because I just think it's so timeless. It's such a classic. You can dress it up or down. It's just it's just a good staple to have. Props to Nasty Gal for keeping it on their site for over a year. And this time I'm pairing it with these boots again. I'm loving like the semi-monochromatic thing going on. I have the same white top underneath as a base layer and also wearing some biker shorts this is just a reminder that no matter what kind of blazer dress that you're wearing please wear shorts under and this blazer also comes with a belt but the good thing is you don't have to use it you can use your own belt or you can pair it with even that big chunky gold belt that i showed earlier and i'm not sure if you can tell from far away but up close um, it has like tiny pinstripes, which I think is super classy. Also got shoulder pads, which makes it really structured. And it's just a, overall just like a really girl boss type of look. If you want to dress up your look even more, you can go with these gold layered necklaces. Look how dainty they are. But at the same time, I just love the design and I love that you can wear it separately or together because a lot of the layered necklace comes in like a set and you're not able to like wear them separately but like in this case you can choose to either wear one of these or go with all of these so highly highly recommend oh that's so cute let me just put it on oh super dainty i love it okay i'm gonna put the other one on what do you guys think do you like it with just one or do you like it with like all three layered 
I kind of like it with the ultra layer of this outfit. Oh, super cute. This next look is also like a cross between a casual and a slightly girly type of outfit. So keeping this simple white crop top on, I'm just pairing it with this really, really cute black skater skirt. This skirt has like mini stars all over it, which is super cute. And it also has like a little silver sequence on it, but it's very, very subtle. This is double lined, so you have this opaque layer underneath and this skirt piece is actually tiered. I got this in a size US 4 which is a UK 8 and I really think it's a really good buy because this waistband area is super duper stretchy like you can tell here that I'm totally stretching it past the limit and it's still going. So if you have similar measurements as me I would suggest you to get either this size which is a US 4 or even go one size up which is a US 6. But anyway it's really forgiving even if you get the wrong size because of the stretchiness and then I'm just tying the look together with this oversized denim jacket I don't know if this denim jacket is supposed to come oversized but I got it in a size medium slash large anyway because I like things oversized what is the motto of this video guys? Karina likes her things oversized in more ways than one <laughs> This next look is definitely for those of you who are more into casuals because I'm styling a band tee. When it comes to spring and summer, I'm a huge fan of band tees. I know there's two groups of very divided opinions surrounding band tees. One being if you don't listen to any of their songs or you cannot even name one of their songs, you shouldn't be wearing a band tee. And the other one is like, wear well, whatever you want. So I definitely belong in the second group where if I think that a band tee is cute AF, you best believe I'm putting it on my body. Let me know in the comments down below which group you guys belong to. Wait a second, is this even a band tee? Oh my god, I need to check. My bad, you guys. I fully thought this was a band tee, but turns out it's just a moto tee with Los Angeles on it. Please don't blame me. I have like super pregnancy brain. Anyway, it's just a really, really cute graphic t-shirt and I am so kicking myself for getting the size small because I really, really think this would be super cute in an oversized extra large fit, you know, that goes all the way under your bum. That way you can like style it with like a little biker short and like with a little faux leather jacket over it. I'll show you my photo inspo here. I actually might go back to Nasty Gal and pick one up in a large or an extra large just so I can have the style right here. I just think it is so spring. It is so in, so chic. So I just went with these jeans. They're just really basic jeans because this t-shirt is so versatile. You can literally go with like any bottom. And of course, if you're cold, don't forget to throw on a jacket. I just picked one that was lying around. It's just this faux fur biker chic looking jacket, you know, from my biker chic association. <laughs> I just picked it because it resonates with bike, you know, bike. Bike. Do you guys like my fashion logic? This next look is kind of like a retro fit because I know that a lot of the retro styles are coming back in for spring trend 2021 including flared leg pants. So here I'm wearing this. Oh my god, I'm like freaking obsessed with this. Oh, check out my baby. It's right here. So this is like super duper elastic and it doesn't like pinch in my waist either like especially when I sit down it doesn't just like dig into my skin which is super super appreciated and it's not see-through and the entire fabric is just like a really soft kind of like ripped material almost like a sweater fabric for a pair of pants and I am digging it it is so comfy it can almost double as like maternity pants I got these pants in a size US 6 which is a UK 10 and I love everything about it. The flare, the length, the amount of stretchiness it has, the non-see-throughness, it's just chef's kiss. So pairing with it, I'm just going with a super easy and casual white tank top and also this Burberry looking shirt jacket. It actually doesn't feel like a jacket, it's more like a shirt because it is slightly on the thinner side. It's just one layer, there's no like inner lining or anything, but what does the pattern remind you of? I just, honestly, I just cannot get enough of these type of designer inspired patterns. And because I wanted that super, again, large and relaxed, kind of like a jacket feel to this shirt, I got a size US 8, which is a UK 12. If you don't like the fit of this on me, you can totally go for your regular size. But I don't know, I like it big. <laughs> and this way you can even like tie it around your midriff and just like create a different type of look. So loving the versatility of bigger. 
shirts. This next outfit is inspired by the super trendy oversized blazer that's a major trend in 2021 springtime. And I'm just featuring this oatmeal one that I've owned for a about a year now. This is always my go-to super oversized blazer. If you don't have one, you can just like grab your boyfriend's or your dad's even. On the bottom here, I'm just keeping the same black turtleneck, but instead of having the turtleneck all the way up like this, I decided to roll it down like this because I just wanted to give it a different look and it's so versatile that like you can see that it immediately elongates your neck and you can style it with different stuff. So here I'm styling it with this faux leather shorts. These shorts are like a faux leather, non-plasticky, non-shiny type of faux leather. And it kind of has like a paper bag waist design. So it really cinches in your waist, super high-waisted. It has a zipper closure at the front here. And it also comes with a belt that's removable. You can feel free to take it off or throw it on. So here first I'm showing you without the belt. And then this is what it looks like with, with the belt on. So yeah, super versatile. You can decide for yourself. The sizing for this, I got this in a size US 4, which is a UK 8. And to be honest, you guys, I should have sized up. I should have went for a US 6 because the baby is growing in me and this was just a little bit tight for me. So yeah, if you have my same measurements, again, in the description box, get a US6. One more thing I wanted to show you guys is I've seen these thick, big, thick, juicy. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> super thick, big, chunky chains that are supposed to be like waist belts. So you're supposed to put this over anything that you're wearing. I've been seeing these mostly on, again, oversized blazers, and I just think that these two go super hand in hand, especially if you have like a slightly boring or like monotone outfit and you wanna like jazz it up. This is the way to go. You can see that it instantly just like transforms your outfit. I don't know why. Maybe it's just like the thickness and the goldness of it. If anyone else finds an adjective, please let me know. To match the goldness, I'm just going with this black chain bag. I think this look can be super badass and like super girl boss too. Let me know in the comments down below where you would like to wear this look to. All right guys, that's it for this spring haul. Let me know which item and which outfit is your favorite. Also, let me know what is your favorite spring 2021 trend. And I look forward to filming more of these for you guys. Bye, I love you.